What's going on, Ape NFT people, NFT community, and everybody interested in Ape NFT? Thank you so much for stopping by the Joe Lee channel. Today I have a new forecast update for Ape NFT. And yeah, I hope everything has been going well. Let's go ahead and just hop into today's TA technical analysis, my twist and take forecast. And it is currently 0.00000. .00000. 1716 uh, as I record this video yeah it's really tough to, to read the price but this is good practice right it's good to just get used to it and I can't wait to knock off those zeros as uh, price eventually ascends in the future and today is February 28th in Seoul Korea as I record so now you're wondering, Joe, what's going on with Ape NFT? Joe Lee, what's going on? I have something special for you guys. I know that it didn't work out exactly how we wanted, but we still have some good news. And it's not fundamentals. It's all on the charts, of course. And when I recorded the last update, it was around like uh, beginning of February. And yeah, it didn't work out the way we wanted, but we still got a bounce though. We did get kind of a bounce to if you played this, you would have got like 20 to 25% gains if you traded that. Congratulations if you played that. I was hoping that we would break this celestial web line or break this this resistance at 0. 0.00000 uh the 2549 uh price zone, but it couldn't make it through. It looks like it needs more time to recharge and refresh and recoil to kind of fly and break out back up to the upside and so we just only had a bounce here right and then from there we kind of declined about 36 percent and then we had the geopolitical tension with russia going into ukraine around the end of february we got this uh, nasty wick right there um that might have been an entry of a lifetime if you played that we'll see what happens of course and Guys, do you guys see this pathway that I I kept on since the last forecast update? It's kind of funny. I think this was like the bear scenario, but bear scenario going back into the bullish scenario. So the, the main point of this is that the analysis works, guys, definitely. Those pathways definitely help. And even it's not exactly 100%, but it just gives you a guideline of where it can go like these these pathways are realistic based off of confluence not just just random just random lines right random paths and it's actually holding support on my celestial web line right here at uh, 1650 so it definitely works guys these my celestial web lines based off a very peculiar symmetry it, they definitely do work all right guys so uh what is happening next then we're gonna go into the different scenarios starting with the first scenario which everybody loves is the bullish scenario all right so yeah i'll just leave this pathway up from the last one and then we'll just kind of play off this starting with the first bullish scenario and the first pathway of the bullish scenario is that what can happen simply just going going on from here going into march mid-march or even end of March is that you know we could just trend sideways right uh, around here and make some candles kind of dipping around and then finally making our way and uh, reversing mid-March to around here the celestial web line as resistance that's about 1798 1798 maybe pulling back a little bit retracing and then finally being able to break its head hitting the next uh, resistance zone which will be the celestial web line around 1906 right uh, and then pulling back and then from there hitting this next uh, major res heavy resistance zone this one's pretty heavy around 1931 that one's going to be pretty rough to make through okay and then finally mid march q3 end of march Q3 going into Q4, going into Q3, Q4, we'll um, be able to see what happens, but it's definitely plausible that we could get up to this last high of uh, February, right, which was around 2515. It's, yeah, it's definitely reasonable and possible that it can happen, and we'll just leave it like that for now, all right, okay, as our first pathway for the bullish scenario, all right. So let me give you a variant of this to see if it kind of resonates with you. So what could happen is that, and it's it's still bullish either way, it's just going into about like mid-March. 
to maybe end of March. Instead of kind of um, trending upwards saying this was the last low and then we're just simply just gonna, you know, go up, ascend simply like that, right? Is that we have one more drop, one more decline, just to really, really flush out the market and really recharge the batteries and to create a true double bottom reversal pattern. And it can look like something like this, right? Where it could slowly just creep down as we go into beginning of March, right? Hitting this support at Celestial Webline uh, at around, in this case, 1655. Can't kind of hitting it, hitting it, and then kind of breaking it. Doesn't have to go all the way to this wick, that wick of 1574, but it's very possible another wick could go down close to that close to it, maybe creating a slightly higher low and really flushing out the market and putting so much disbelief into just um, casual crypto people, right? People who are just in it for the short term only. And before you know it, you got smart money institutes, smart crypto people ready to take advantage of these uh, amazing discount prices, right? And it could do something like this, kind of making a you know double bottom in mid-March. And then finally, working its way back up, it's going to catch a lot of people off guard, breaking resistance at the celestial web line at 1631, maybe kind of fighting it a little bit and then breaking through, okay? And then the, the pathway is the same, where it just ascends all the way up, just keeps going, keeps going, just keeps going up, pulling back, same thing, right? Goes up to the next celestial web line, finding resistance, retrace. Next major resistance zone goes up. So this is all happening going into April, of course. Stay tuned for more precise details. And then getting up that last high, we'll start there, 2494, just like I did, I said here. This could take a lot longer, of course, so that's why I'm saying you know, stay tuned. If this really does play out, it's going to take a little bit longer than what I'm drawing here. It would definitely take a little bit longer than that. Definitely would uh, go into April, April Q3 and May as well. So yeah, that is um, the bullish scenario there. The two pathways, that, and that's the variant of it. I'm just going to give you the third, this next variant, which you guys love. I think I showed in the last video, but the epic scenario, the epic variant. What if, right, when we do finally get a true reversal from the final bottom, and it's not just really rally right back to this you know high of two five seven one but and not even up to these last highs of three two six two not even the last all time highs at point zero zero seven nine seven but what if this is the making of the last parabolic mania stage in this cycle right where we can you know going into q3 q4 of this year and maybe even beginning of uh, 2023 right but if this is the beginning of the parabolic mania stage we, obviously we're going to break past all of these highs right like i was saying and just make it not only back to all-time highs let's do something like that pull back maybe i'll make a flag or something or wedge falling wedge and then going, going, making brand new spanking all-time highs and going parabolic, something like that. Giant lightsaber green candles to the upside, freaking amazing galactic gains, next dimension gains, it's going to the next solar system of Ape NFT. And you've, if you've been receiving airdrops or buying down here on KuCoin, that's gonna be huge. Oh man. Yeah, easily can get up to 10x, easily. So stay tuned. I do have my very peculiar and precise calculations for uh, price, long-term price targets. If this scenario starts to play out and it's coming into reality and fruition, I'll definitely share those targets on the channel. So And definitely take advantage, guys. I still don't have a, a membership and a Patreon, not yet, so definitely... Stay tuned. Everything will be on the channel for free. Uh, all this information to kind of help you. All right, guys, I can't wait for that. This is amazing. I, I participated in the last uh, bull market 2017, and it's like Christmas every day. It's like a, your birthday every day. It's such an amazing feeling. It's surreal. <laughs> it's definitely surreal, and I want you guys to experience it if you haven't. So I don't want to give the next scenario, but the next scenario is the bearish scenario. 
I know we don't like it, but it's very important that I do give it to help us stay prepared and to stay sharp because we never know what can happen and we need to protect our capital and our money that best matches our game plan, right? Because we, some of us might have a shorter time limit with our game plan and we need to pull the seed money a little bit earlier. There's something for everybody on the channel, short, mid, and long term. And also for my traders, swing traders, momentum traders, my hodlers, my investors, there's something for everybody. Same community, we're all celestials, we're all crypto celestials trying to get next dimension gains and get to the promised land. So the bearish scenario, I'm going to make it very simple for you guys, is that just going off this pathway actually from the last video update is instead of it kind of curling up like that from the second variant, instead of finally breaking up to the upside, breaking out to the upside, is that what could happen is it could fall down into mid-March, end of March to April where it fails to kind of go to the upside, where it just goes sideways. It, it will bounce, of course, in this bearish scenario, but what happens is it's going to be one of those dead cat bounces that we've been getting it through these past like four months, three, four months. So in this case, Maybe like mid-March, end of March, you know, we're anticipating a big rally, but it's actually just another dead cat bounce. Back to resistance, uh, um, that was one support in February, for example, which lines up with the Celestial web line in, in the situation 1667. Maybe a wick up there and creating some excitement. Maybe I'm excited in my next update, forecast update, if this happens and it just doesn't play out. You know, I'm not perfect, right? And then, yeah, it just, we just thought it was going to go up, but it was just another bounce. And then it just kind of falls back down, just dribbling, fading out sideways. And who knows, it might, it could go a little bit lower, making instead of a higher low, kind of slightly a lower low, and just kind of dribbling away. Okay. Then finally, working its way back up going into I guess like end of year 2023 reversing definitely stay tuned to the channel everything will be here for you guys so that's pretty much it for today please hang in there I know it's a little bit boring and it can be frustrating even if we do get these bounces you know definitely stay tuned I'm going to share some tradable ideas that you can at least take advantage if you want those type of swing trades to get some profits and gains along the ride along this journey may the gains be with you let the profits be with you. Keep believing in an end. We will achieve and get to the promised land of next dimension gains and profits with crypto and with Ape NFT, which is going to feel so amazing. Definitely stay tuned for the next uh, forecast update for Ape NFT. Thank you and see you in the next one. Peace.